Hello everyone. Welcome to the session on textbooks uh, question, which is for Python. We are, we are working on Kaggle. Learning with Divkeda. We are working on Sam with Team. So once again, thank you for joining with me, Divkeda. We are moving a bit forward today. So in tutorial today. We are going to talk about 12th question, 13th question that has been given by the, given in the textbook. So uh, in, in this book, what we are doing is we write a function to find the nth number in the Fibonacci. So what we are doing is we are finding the nth number uh, or nth index Fibonacci sequence. And as you all know, but if you are not aware of the Fibonacci sequence, is that the next number is the sum of the previous two. So this is where they have given the Fibonacci. And if you see, if you leave zero and one apart, because those are the first two. The third number, which is one, is the sum of zero and one. Again, two is the sum of the previous two number, which is one plus one is equal to two. And three is sum of the previous two number, which is one and two. And five is the sum of two and three. So that's the, the way that it, it moves forward. So if we write down the fourth index, it gives us three. Why? Because zero, one, two, three, four, and fourth is three. And similarly, if we go to the 20th level, which is the 19th item there, start, it is the 20th one, but it would be six of 19, starting from zero. That is six, seven, five, uh, six, seven, six, five. So that's what we have to uh, do in this particular example. So uh, before I move forward with giving you the information of the solution, which is very easy and you will like it once you see it. And you can try doing your own uh, solutions based on the thing, or you can write down creating your own uh, methods looking at this. So uh, before before I move forward with the part, if you like what I'm doing and feel we can help others, please like, like my videos. You can subscribe my videos, and you can share it with your friends as well. If we, if they uh, want to learn Python, and we can help them in learning Python. So uh, very quickly, we'll move over to the solution. So here we are working on the solution. So I've written down a function with the name of find nth Fibonacci. So we are saying that we'll be finding the nth uh, number of Fibonacci and where we'll be writing down number one, which would be indicating the. So what I've done is I've written down, I've created initialized two variables, which is a is equal to zero and b is equal to one. And then I'm writing down Fibonacci is equal to a, uh, because if um, the number one is zero, then the uh, Fibonacci should be zero. So I've written down a, and because we have written down zero, so this loop will not go through, and it will return the Fibonacci. In this case, it will be returning zero. However, if the num uh, one is not zero but num one is one, then uh, initially it will write down Fibonacci is equal to zero, but then it will go into this loop where it will run from zero to first. And what it would be doing is it would be writing down Fibonacci is equal to B. So whatever values in B, that is one, will go into the Fibonacci. Then I'm writing down B is equal to A plus B. So it would be zero plus one, which would be B is equal to one, and A is equal to Fibonacci. So whatever value I passed into Fibonacci would be passing it back to A. And this loop will continue till um, I becomes equal into that number that we are looking forward for and the Fibonacci will be updated up automatically and then finally it will be returning the Fibonacci or Fibonacci. So here I'm, I'm doing the check. Um, put, I put in the name of the method and it is equal to true so that I can generate and see all the methods. So if I run this, what I see is uh, I have the output is this. So if it is index is zero, then the output is zero and expected is zero. So similarly, if the text uh, we say in 
as uh, or the number of the index of the Fibonacci required is 100. So that is the Fibonacci series of 100. And that is actually what is expected or what the test is testing. And that's the reason it is giving us. So if you see uh, the, the method that I have written has passed all the 11 tests um, in the city. So with that, uh, we have come to the end of this part as well. But let me just go to the next question as well. So from tomorrow, be, or, or just for tomorrow, or in the next video, we'll be working on creating a function which transforms the time date as a string. So if you put in a value as hours, month, uh, sorry, hours, minute, and seconds AM, or hour, minutes, and second PM, then uh, the function that I'll be writing down, or what they're requiring, the function that they require us to write down, should return the uh, seconds from that particular time to the time that you have input. So that should be, that's what we'll be going to do tomorrow. So um, with that, I, uh, I've come. With that, I think we have completed what we were expected to do. So um, I thank you. Thank you for listening and learning with me. I hope we have moved a bit forward in our learning. Do can contact me. You can write me to the uh, YouTube comments or email to divklearner at gmail.com. If you like what I'm doing and feel we can help others, please like my videos, subscribe, and share my videos. So with that, um, have a very good uh, rest of the day. Uh, I'm signing. Bye-bye.